Good day, everybody. Um, today we're going to do lesson plan number three, grade six, term two. Um, this the, the topic is multiplication and the distributive property. Um, and the link to the worksheet, the DBE worksheet, is then worksheet number 29. Um, there you have a look, and you, we're going to come back to the lesson. And then your links is to the CAPS curriculum um, here. I'm going to scroll down like this, and this is where you need to stop. Um, and you look need to look at the resources, the quote, the did you know. Um, and then the distributive property. A lot of times what we do is when we started to do multiplication with bigger numbers, we want to skip it or we just want to do um, column method of multiplication. Please, this is not always just to get to the answer, but the technique is so important. Um, you can just imagine later on, um, I'm going to point to this example here where we say 2 times 3 plus 2 times 6. This becomes later on x times 3 plus x times 6. So if we skip this method, when the learners are coming in grade 8 and 9, they struggle to solve those um, algebraic expressions. Um, so please make sure and don't skip this. Um, a lot of times we say we didn't do this method. It's a new method. It might be new, but it's very, very important for mathematical skills at a later stage. So let's get the children then, um, the learners, and we're quickly going to do the mental maths for today. So um, they can do it orally or they can write it down and it's time to pause your video. Welcome back. I can just reveal then the answers. So you're going to see the answers and what you can do is you can pause and quickly mark your work. Okay, let's go and look then at multiple application and the distributive property. So um, we did previous um, activities in grade five. So you can always go back to grade five um, where we did the properties of whole numbers. Um, and what we have here is we have three times four plus two. So when we use the distributive property, we're going to write it like this. But let's first do this side so we can prove that this is correct. So if I say 3 times 4 plus 2, so 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So let's go to this side. So now we're going to write it in its distributive property way. So now we're going to say 3 times 4. So here we got 3 times 4 in brackets. We can show that we multiplied the 3 with the 4. And here we're going to say 3 times 2. So we're going to say 3 times 2, and we're going to write it like that. Going back to this side, what you did here is you did multiply the 3 with the 4 and the 2. The only difference is you added it first. So very important. It's 3 times 4, and then 3 times 2. Then when we say 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 2 is 6, it also gives me 18. So... 18 equals to 18, so we prove that this is how we write it, distributive property of whole numbers when we do multiplication. Okay, very important again, no need that the learners need to, un need to know the word distributive property, they only need to understand the method. So let's quickly go and look at this one. So what we have here is, we got 3 plus 5 times 4 plus 2. So with, in brackets, 3 plus 5, multiply in brackets 4 plus 2. So we, what the difference between here and there is we took now the first number and we added, we added another number. So let's quickly distribute it. So first what we're going to do is we're going to say 3 times 4 plus 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4 plus 5 times 2, close the bracket. Then we're going to add it. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 times 2 is 10. That equals to 48. So I showed you two ways to do the distributive property. 
Very important, again, like I mentioned before, some of these numbers is later on going to become variables. Um, and then learners must be able to do the distributive property. Um, I'm just going to show you a very interesting way um, of also multiplying it. Um, when children really struggle and get a bit confused, it's almost, I always call it my checking block. So what we have here is we got the three plus the five and we got the four plus the two. So what we do is just to make it easier for them to multiply is to say four times three is 12. So there we got the four times three is three times four. And then we got the three times two is six. Then again, we got five times four is 20 and five times two is 10. And everything that's in the block, they add up and get the answer. Why do I add this? Um, a very nice technique because they later on going to use this when they calculate area, and especially area, and especially when they have problem solving, um, area problem solving to do. Um, this helped them to see it visually. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pause and then work through these two examples first and then work through this example and this one and compare it and see how it can help you and how, how it can help you during a test to test your answers. Okay, welcome back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the distributive property to multiply. So with much bigger numbers, it might be a very long process or feel like a very long process. But again, it's what's so important is this technique that you're going to use later on in algebra. So let's see, we got 547 times 45. So I first going to break it up. Um, and I go to say 500 plus 40 plus 7. Multiply by 40 plus 5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 500 with both these two numbers. So 500 times 40 is 20,000. 500 times 5 is 2,500. 40 now we're done with 500. Now we're going to go to 40. 40 times 40 is 1,600. 40 times 5 is 200. I'm now done with the 500 and the 400. So I'm going to take the 7. The 7 times 40 is 280. And the 7 times the 5 is 35. I'm done with the 7. So I multiplied the 500, the 40, the 7. First with the 40 and then with the 5. So now I'm going to add it. So before I'm going to add it, I'm going to break it up in two groups. So I'm first going to take, I've got my 20,000 there. Then I've got a 2,000 and a 1,000 here. And I'm going to put brackets around them so we can group them. Then we got a 500 and a 600 and a 200 and a 200. So we got a 500. A 600, a 200, and 200. We're going to group them together. Then what I have, I have tens. I've got an 80, and I've got a 30. Again, everything that I show you, it might feel like a very lengthy process, but it's all the tiny little techniques that helps us to understand maths bit later on better. So now we've got the 20,000. 2,000 plus 1,000 is 3,000. 500 plus 6. 100 plus 200 plus 200 gives us 1,500. 80 plus 30 gives us 110. And then we got the 5. And we can add it. Or what we can do is we can break it even further by saying 20,000 plus, and we're going to group again, 3,000 plus 1,000. And we can, we're going to plus there, and we have a, 500 plus 100, and what do we have there? We still got a plus 10 and a plus 5. So now we can say it's 20,000, 3,000 plus 1,000 is 4,000, 500 plus 100 is 600, and 10 plus 5 is 15. Um, you can even add another step if you want to, 
where you're going to say 20,000 plus 4,000 plus 600 plus 10 plus 5. So, um, and you get the answer of 24,615. Again, is um, I always like to have a grid close to me just to check it. So exactly what you have here at the top, it's 500 plus 40 plus 7. Here I've got 40 plus 5. And I'm just going to multiply to check if I multiplied everything. So I'm going to say 500 times 40, it's my 20,000. 500 times 5 is my 2,500. 40 times 40 is 1,600. 5 times 40 is 200. Then I've got to have 40, 7 times 40 or 40 times 7, it's 280. And then I've got 7 times 5 is 35. And then I'm going to add it as I added it here. Or I can add additional steps. I want you to pause at this moment. And I want you to work through this example. Explain it to somebody. But I also want you to try this to check your answer. So pause now. Welcome back. Um, I'm going to do example two now. Um, this is, you don't have to do it. Um, this is a more advanced example, but it also helps us later on with some mental calculations. So I first want you to look here at 447 times 50 minus 5 and compare that to what I asked here. 547 times 45. Quickly see if you can see the difference of this, all the similarities. Well done. So the only thing what I did is I took the 45 now and I write it down as 50 minus 5. Again, as this is not to make give you complex methods. It's again to teach you techniques that you need to do later on in your life. Okay. Let's quickly go. So I'm first going to break up 500 plus 40 plus 7 multiplied, and I still got 50 minus 5. And now I'm going to apply the distributive property, and I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to say 500 multiplied by 50, it's 25,000. Again, is how do I do it? A 5 times a 5 is 25. I count the zeros, 1, 2, 3. Then, very important, we're going to minus them. So what we're going to do is now we're going to multiply 500 with 5. And we get 2,500. So I'm done with multiplying the 500 with 50 and 5. I'm going to carry on with the 40. So now I'm going to multiply 40 times 50. It gives me 2,000. I'm going to put a minus there. And I'm going to say then 40 times 5 is 200. I'm going to add then. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply now 500 Sorry, just recap there. Um, not 500. I'm, the next one I'm going to take Remember, I'm done with the 540. I'm going to multiply the 7. I'm going to multiply the 7 with the 50. That's 350. Minus 7 times 5 is th 35. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate it. So everything between the brackets I'm going to calculate. Um, and I get 22... 1,500, when I minus 2,200, I get 1,800, when I minus 350, minus 35 is 315. If you still struggle to um, subtract these numbers, you need to work on your mental mal uh, calculation skills. Then what we're going to do is let's quickly break it up. So we're going to break it up so we can add it then. So we got 20,000 from there, a 2,000 and a 1,000. And we're just going to put brackets around them to make it easier to add. Then we've got a 500, an 800, and a 300 there. 
So we got a 500, 800, and a 300 there. And then what we have is we have a 10 and a 5. So now we got a 20,000, 2,000 plus 1,000 is 3,000. 500 plus 800 plus 300 is 1,600 um, plus 15. Um, you can add a step there where you can say 20,000 plus 3,000 plus 1,000 plus 600 plus 15. So we can just put brackets around those. Um, and then we can see it's 20,000, 3,000 plus 1,000, it's 4,615. I want you to pause now and that those of you that want to try example two, I want you to do that, communicate it then with a parent or an adult um, before you carry on with the worksheets. So now we're going to go to the worksheets in your DBE book or the SA teacher worksheets. And what you're going to do is you're going to solve all of these. Remember, again, you've got a choice between exam example one or two. You don't have in question three use example two. You can use still use example one. Um, but then you need to go then you need to work this back. So, yes, go try out example two stuff. Um, you can only benefit from it. Then um, look at the problem solving. Um, you need to do the problem solving. Your extra activities is coming from the old exam papers, test papers, remediation. What we recommend, make use of colors to multiply so you can see how you do it. Then um, what we're going to do is here, you only have two ticks. Um, so the first one, you need to have a tick. And then you can use one of these two methods or you can use both of them. Um, if you've got um, only one yes, you need to go and revisit some of the questions, revise it or contact us at SA Teacher.